My name is Zoha. My name is Sari. And today we'll be talking about the EM1 Mark III. And Mark II. On our channel. What? No, no, our no, no, channel. No, no. We don't this, need Jimmy. This, this he talks channel. too much. What? Go down. I, I never talk this too much. Is, yeah. Ah. Welcome to our channel, Red35. Mark 3, it just came out. Okay. Everybody's fascinated by it. And today's video is all about, you know, using this one against the older predecessor, the Mark 2. Um, from my perspective, as a portrait photographer who photographs beautiful ladies all the time, and uh, to see whether the new feature really worth the money for upgrading. Shall we test it out? All right, let's go. If you have been following our channel, you have seen Zoha and Zali quite a bit because we've done many, many videos with these two beautiful ladies. And uh, yeah, we always use them to test our portrait lenses or use the camera um, to do portrait. That's exactly what I do on a daily basis because I shoot portrait. Um, the Mark II, as I told you in my previous video, this is my workhorse. I use it a lot and Zoha has seen me using it. Zali as well seen me using this very camera here many many times and uh, so how does it stack up with this new baby here this is the mark 3 and i already mentioned the latest uh, eye and face tracking mode mm -hmm. in the previous yeah. video and it works very very well but how you know in terms of um professional use um how would it compare with that one and how useful it is in terms of uh, uh taking portrait for instance and i can tell you that is uh it's quite a big leap from the old one because now I'll close the ears, it's fine, you can say whatever. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, it has the same feature. I mean, the old one does have the eye tracking. Yeah. I mean, uh, the eye focus yes. thing. But you have to go really close, almost basically fill up the entire frame with your face before oh. the um, the system can detect the eye. Okay. So that is not very good. You know, you don't want your face to fill up the entire frame all the time. All you the know, time. you want to step back a little bit. Yeah. If you use like ultra shallow depth of field lenses, like the 70 25 1.8, the 25 1.2, or yeah, the 45 1.2, these are fairly shallow depth of field mm. lenses. So you want to make sure that you know the eyes in focus and things like that. So the later system mm -hmm. now can see the uh, the face and the eye from distance. So that means that you don't need to fill up the entire frame yeah. now. So you can have a shoulder height or ha even half body, you can still do. And still have that focus. Still have the focus <laughs> nail on the eye. So like you, yeah, in a full portrait, eye focus is very important. Yeah. So it's very good. Although having said that, in my old days, when I was training as a photographer, I never have any features like that you have to do it manually. Yeah. So it, Learn so, the hard yeah, way. Yeah, kind of learn the hard way. Learn so, stick. Yeah. Exactly, like driving, you know, yeah. like you learn from driving manual cars before you move on to automatic. Mm. Yeah. You know, this is more like the automatic car now, so you kind of drive yourself mm. and you can rely on it as well. And uh, so far, uh, this is pre-production sample with running the pre-production firmware. Mm -hmm. So it's not the final, final version, but I already can see that it's almost hitting 100%. You know, I can see there's still cases when it's not hitting it. But the uh, the chances are but it's there. It's there. It's there. The feature is there. They just need to refine it. So hopefully, in the next one or two ver uh, firmware updates, it will completely get better and better. better. Get better, and then uh, that should be it. So as you guys know that I 
use movement a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, whether I'll ask you to move, like walking around left, right, and center, or yeah. I move. Because yeah. uh, I, 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 I like to capture the the natural side of you instead of asking you to do the hard pose. You know, where yeah. you just bend your, yeah, just bend it 45 degree. You know, like kind of, yeah, really. I don't <laughs> like this sort of rigid movement, and yeah. uh, so. It's time evolving now, but I think more and more photographers are using that method, you know, mm -hmm. trying to get a more natural Candid flowing, yeah, it's candy photos. kind of yeah. natural movement. So that's very good. Mm. And that's how I shoot anyway. Yeah. Uh, so having the, the face and eye detection uh, as, as good as the Mark III now really helps in my game mm. in particular, because now I can have the CAF on, which is continuous autofocus, mm. with the eye and, eye and face detection. Yeah. So I can move around while the camera would continue tracking your face without me having to uh, do any manual Refocusing input. Refocusing again and again Yeah, as so well. it's, it's all automated and uh, you may call it lazy, but for me it's quite effective because yeah, that will free me up a little bit more. So I can lazy. do... <laughs> uh, it's effective. It's effective. Yeah, professional of saying lazy. Okay. It's effective. <laughs> uh, you so, said it, not me. <laughs> so, that, so that is really good. So that's something that I think the Mark II uh, really lacks. Yeah. Uh, although I did use the same thing, although you still say see the faces, but just not as mm. accurate as this now, because you can see the eye. I yeah. think that, that's the main difference, especially when you're doing half height, uh, uh, half length portrait, because it really nails the eyes now, which is actually really yeah, good. Yeah, you have more distance to play with in that one. Yeah, because like I said, this one you really have to fill, fill up, up the, the entire frame with mm. the face before it sees the eye. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that that's really good. Now, let's talk a little bit about slow-mo stuff. Uh, not slow-mo stuff, but uh, more a, a slow or long exposure shot. Mm -hmm. So the Life ND is something that I use a lot since I moved on from the Mark II to the bigger brother, the One X. Because yes. One X has the Life ND feature, which is kind of cool because you can place your subject in the middle of the street and then having a longer exposure than usual. And due to the fact that these cameras now have really good stabilization, so I can actually hand hold it with a couple of seconds without any shakes. Uh, but, uh, so that's cool. So I can use long exposure shot, which means that I can put you in the center mm -hmm. and having people walking around you, you can still maintain in that Maybe shot. Walking back and forth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, was so that, that was a good demo. And, uh, You're welcome. So, but, but this is some, some sort of artistic thing I'm doing at the moment. Uh, and uh, we've worked for clients, so clients like that sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost like, um, uh, again, candid is the word, you know, like it's almost like I'm on the street, you know, it's a very candid yeah. moment. People are walking past, yeah. they like that sort of movement like involved. That. Yeah, so yeah. it's actually pretty cool. cool. Yeah. It's a good thing to have, and that's something that I have been using since the uh, uh, M1 Mark, uh, M1X camera. Yeah. Mm. And because I couldn't do it with that, but now I can with the Mark III. All in one. Oh. All in one, in a much smaller form factor. Yeah. So, uh, we still again, love you. <laughs> you have to keep reiterating that. I know, I feel really bad. <laughs> no, it's, it's still a very capable camera, you know, don't get me wrong, the Mark II is still phenomenal. Okay. And by the way, if you don't know that, Olympus has decided to sell the Mark II at the same time as the Mark III. You know, which is good. So you so have like, the option. So you have the option. So uh, you do, if you don't want to spend as much on the new camera, you can have it, uh, have the Mark II at discounted prices now, which is yeah. actually good. I mean, it's still very, very capable, you know, that, and uh, I love the Mark II. If you don't need, for instance, if you don't need the face tracking, eye tracking thing or the Life ND, yeah. which not many people will use it. I mean, it comes down to how you want to use the camera. Yeah. If you think you're going to use and need all the features of the Mark III, then definitely go for it. It's completely yeah. worth it. But if you think, you know, I'm not going to be using all that much, so I don't need to spend that extra money, you can still be do really, really well with the Mark II, so. Thank you. Sorry, this say. is Jimmy's channel. <laughs> <laughs> she took over already, right? I'm, I'm going to cry a minute. <laughs> I'm going to leave this channel Sorry. soon. So uh, Tra Tracy and Soha would take this up, you know, from now on. Oh, what are you going to do, Jimmy, after this then? He'll be the model. <laughs> Yeah, new job, right? new job. yeah, you know, Zo Zoha is going to be a photographer. Yeah. She's going to have to mark the mark too. Yeah, there you go. I remember when we were staring a photo. Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes. And I keep you in my heart. And my heart is where you are. I still think of you. I want you coming back. Let's move on from photo to video. Because mm -hmm. I did a test earlier, which is actually quite intriguing. I think it's quite nice. Um, the, 
you know I mentioned when I was testing with you yeah. in a previous video, uh -huh. uh, we can use the joystick to move around the focusing point while recording. Yeah, now, I remember the joystick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the joystick, the nipple. Yes, and then uh, but now I can actually um, film like multiple faces, and you can put the screen. Yes. Live, like not predetermined. Like you this know, is br we, we can't we kind of tested it. We okay. Let's lock on one face and move in and out in a previous video. Yeah. But this time, but this time we do it live. So I we had more faces to play with. Yes, exactly. So so we did it live and change midway. So like I actually change it when you're more walking. So I just yeah. change from one face to another while recording. So that is brilliant. It was very Worked, cool. Yeah. 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 So now we're doing a live demo of face tracking, and uh, I can see both. Faces have been highlighted. At the moment, it's locked onto Zali, but let me put Zohar, Zohar's face. Okay, now it's Zohar. So, Zali, if you keep moving forward on a straight line, so the camera should maintain focus with Zohar and not Zali. Okay, that's it, full stop. So, now if I put on Zali's face, you can see it's highlighted and transition is very smooth, and you can see Zohar is completely out of focus. So, if you now move back, what? And Zoha move forward in a straight line. And Zoha move forward. So it should continue to trace. And, and that means that in filming wise, if you are really relying on uh, tri uh, tripod works and having a, just one man instead of like having a crew with you, this is actually fantastic. For a lot of YouTuber, content creator, mm -hmm. this is a godsend, you know, like you can just poke on the faces, yeah. and it changes, Good to go. and then yeah, it's all automated and it's very accurate. So that's, that's really, really nice. Uh, I think that feature alone is quite unique. Mm. It also works uh, very well. And uh, I th yeah, if you're a content creator, I think this is probably Quite a quite a worthy camera. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, YouTubers out there. This is the YouTube camera. <laughs> I think I think it's a YouTube camera. Very good. From my perspective, uh, being a professional photographer, mm -hmm. shooting portraits almost daily, mm -hmm. I think even from the pre-production sample of the Mark III, it's a very worthy update and uh, I love it And because of the features I mentioned about already, the eye tracking, face tracking for both yeah. videos and stills, mm -hmm. I think it's just phenomenal. Uh, I know it has the same thing as the M1X, the bigger brother, yeah. but, but it's half the size. That's so, a very, so, very helpful uh, feature. One thing I haven't mentioned, which you have to stay tuned for future videos, is Ooh. using the, uh, the Mark III on gimbals. Ah! Oh. Right, I mean, I did previously use the Mark II for, yeah. uh, uh, for gimbal work, mm. and uh, uh, it's very effective, very good, but I'm not going to say too much. Just wait for the next video, so we're going to talk about gimbal work using the Mark III, because it's, a, it's very interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. So. Uh, Stay tuned for that particular thing. But as it stands, as a photographer and filmmakers, I think it's very cool because all those features I do. Mm -hmm. uh, so for documentary work, for shooting people, anything people related, this is the camera. Mm -hmm. So if you're a content creator, like you, let's say you do YouTube, which mm -hmm. is people related because you shoot faces a lot, yeah. this is really good because it's all automated, accurate, flip the screen, face detection on, all done. Job. Wow. Press record, you just walk around, track your faces. Walk around? Okay, mm. all done. I still like the Mark II. Well, you well, like I love the Mark II. So. You like Mark II or Mark III? Because I'm holding this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There, there you go. There you go. So I, I think like, I wouldn't discount the Mark II. No, I mean, uh, you it's, can't. It, it's, a, it's a phenomenal camera. For four years now, it's still performing as it should. Yep. Like brand new. So that's good. That's great. Mm. Enjoy this video and uh, nah, stop talking. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. This is my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>
and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Comment below to see if we if you want to see Jimmy talking at all or or no. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, you don't want to, <laughs> right? Subscribe. Too much. <laughs> okay. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 <laughs>